How big is your business? How many employees do you have and how many stores do you have? Uh, I got two shops. One is in North Sydney, running 18 years. This is one of the new shops, running just three months. And then just a totally I have about 12 employees. Why did you decide to start a small business? Uh, actually, before I just worked at accountant for 10 years, a little bit boring with the figures. So trying to open the cafe, just uh, have a chance to check, uh, chat with people and just, uh, in, just enjoying this, this, land, this kind of lifestyle. How many hours a week do you put in to your business? Uh, 90 hours. What do you enjoy most about running your business? Just, uh, this is just a free lifestyle just to do whatever I, I, I need to do and just develop some new customer who are enjoying it. What is the most challenging thing about running your business? Like what keeps you up at night? I think the new shop is a little bit challenging for me and then just, uh, but just uh, it depends, it all depends on how you, you look after your business. As I said, I spend about 90, hour, 90 hours every week for running the new business. But after that, I feel quite relaxed. For that business, I, I just, uh, at the beginning when I bought it, I still spend a lot of time on, on that. But just after half a year, I just uh, I feel like I feel like it's running, all right, Ben is just running by itself. So I opened this new business. Just keep it busy another half a year to one year. I think I can relax a little bit. So what's the dream for your business? Is it expanding? Is it more stores? Is it you just not working anymore? Yeah, exactly, not working anymore, that's it. Yeah, actually I want to do something else that is more about seafood, but it's fast food. That is something I, I want to do, I want to do, but I don't have any experience before. So I bought one business, one business and I opened a new business, just trying to learn everything by myself. What are the blockers for you right now about growing your business? A little bit hard to deal with counsel. That's the only the thing that blocked me sometimes. I just uh, because when I set up this business, uh, I wait about half a year to just get a council to approve everything. Running the business is easy for me, but deal with council is really hard. So do you understand what makes you different from your competitors? It's not, it just depends on the location, I think. Just when I find a spot to open the cafe, I just look around. And how do you currently attract um, customers? Red Mango, this cafe is in North Sydney, running 18 years. It's famous by the cake. It's a patisserie shop, actually. And then just uh, we we selling a lot of cake over there. We're trying to push the cake a little bit in the shop, but up, except for that, everything is running well. Just uh, we're making good coffee. We know that the strength of co our coffee. We just uh, waste a lot, just to make sure our the taste is perfect, 100%. Where do you consume information that helps you run your business better? Currently, uh, I'm not quite sure about the other one to do that. I'm, I regularly go to US, like LA, New York, to see what's happening there, just to bring some ideas back to Australia. Just with your suppliers, so who services you well and why do you find that they service you well? Basically, it depends on the price, the wholesale price they gave to us, and also we, we check their, their fresh if they, they, the food is very fresh, what they serve us to us is good quality. That's most of our, con our concern, except for, except for the price. And then just the other thing is delivery time. They deliver on time, they deliver early enough, and then just give us a, enough time to make everything 